Michael Jordan, his airness is the GOAT of basketball. Equipped with a fierce competitive nature, he wanted to up his game and connected with his coach, Tim Grover. As it turns out, his strength game was simple. Mostly compound lifts with dumbbells and barbells and some machine work. So I put my coaching brains to the test. I've compiled a list of nine exercises Michael Jordan did on the regular and transferred it to the kettlebell. Now two of them are bonus exercises taken from Russian sports scientist Yuri Verkhoshansky. Let's check out the exercises. Exercise number one is the kettlebell deadlift. The kettlebell is between your legs and along the middle of your feet. Push your hips back. Upper body leans forward, keep your back straight. Now breathe in through the nose and lift the bell up. And once you bring it back down, you breathe out. Use a heavy weight and do three sets of 10. Exercise number two is the kettlebell clean. We do the power clean, so there's no ballistic element involved. We place the kettlebell as in the deadlift, you grab it, Breathe in through the nose, brace your abs, and pull the bell into the rack position. Bring it back down and breathe out. Use a moderate weight and do three sets of 10. As a small bonus, add in the ballistic element, the regular kettlebell clean, so to speak, and do two minutes alternating clean as a finisher. Exercise number three is to push press bench press superset. You place an incline bench behind you. Clean the kettlebell up, breathe in through the nose, brace your abs. Now use your legs to press the kettlebell up. Once it's back in the rack, you breathe out. You do 10 reps per side. After you finish those 20 reps, you lay on the incline bench and now you do an isolated chest press and you're breathing normally. You do 10 reps per side as well, use a moderate weight and do three sets. Exercise number four is the goblet squat. You bring the kettlebell into the goblet position, breathe in through the nose, brace your abdominals, go down into a squat and press your elbow into your inner thighs. Keep your back straight. Once you've come back up, you breathe out. Use a heavy weight and do three sets of 10. Exercise number five is the kettlebell row. You place one leg on the bench, stabilize your body and keep your back straight. Now you slowly look with the kettlebell and you pull it back up while you're breathing normally. Use a heavy weight and you do three sets of 10 per side. Exercise number six is the strict press. Clean the kettlebell into the rack position. Make sure it's firm and solid. Breathe into the nose. Brace your abdominals as well. Press the kettlebell overhead and once the kettlebell's back in the rack position, you breathe out. Use a moderate weight and do three sets of 10 Per side. Exercise number seven is good mornings. You place the kettlebell between your shoulder blades and now you stand in a slight forward tilted position. You breathe into the nose, keep the abdominals tight, push your hips back, keep knees almost straight. The back is straight while you are leaning forward as far as you can. When you come back up, you breathe out. Use a light weight and do two sets of 20. Exercise number eight is a bonus, the kettlebell jump squat. The goal of this exercise is to increase your vertical jump. We use a back squat pattern, not like the one we used in the goblet squat. Make sure you know the difference. Place the kettlebell between the shoulder blades. Now we go down into a squat. Now you jump off the ground just a little bit. Breathe naturally. Use a variety of weights and do two sets of 10. Exercise number nine, another bonus is calf raises. You want to improve your reactive ability to short-term gain displacements with changing directions with this exercise. You hold two kettlebells in the suitcase position, you stand on the wedge, lift your heels up as far as you can, and then you come back down. You breathe normally, use a moderate weight, and do two sets of 10. So the workout protocol is easy to understand. We have nine exercises total, ranging from two to three sets. You do 10 to 20 reps, and you do this workout two to three days per week. See if it fits your practice on the court. Since there's a large volume involved in this workout, as you can see from the sets and reps, I would suggest if you want to do this workout to talk to your coach and ask if this fits your current training agenda. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like it and consider subscribing. I love doing these types of videos, so let me know who you want to see next in the comments. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Laborstock Academy. Me. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.